All right, never mind. You put. No. <laughs> Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Gold Rush, the game. So this was a game that the developer gave me access to way back in the day so we could check out the demo. Wow, talk about epic music. It almost feels out of place. It's it's like too epic for the game. I feel like some sort of nice acoustic guitar would fit here. Should be right around 14, so we should be right around- Anyway, way back when the developer gave me access to the demo so I could bring it to you guys, it was a pretty awesome demo. The nature of the game is we start from nothing and must build up our gold mining company into epicness and power with all kinds of heavy equipment eventually. And they have added a ton of new equipment. I am really looking forward to it. Again, I have links in the description below. Let's go ahead and play a new game over here. Now, I got into this just a little bit back in the demo, and they had like a pre-set up area where you could try stuff out. Now, we're legitimately beginning from nothing. So, I think you get like a couple of bucks. You get a beat up truck that looks like it's been through hell and back. And you have our town. Our, I believe this is an Alaskan town. We'll find out here in a second if I'm right or not. And here we are! Yes, Haynes, Alaska! Okay, sweet. The gold mining capital of the world. Well, we're gonna make our freaking fortune. Game? Looking pretty strong. Beautiful blue sky. Trees swaying in the breeze. Shadowing and all there, have you? We do have a journal that we can utilize with the tab button over here. This kind of tells you very simplistically. This tells you what you need to do for your gold mining process here. If we follow these steps, we should be bajillionaires. That's my hope anyway. There's all kinds of things over here. We've got vehicles, pickup trucks, fuel tanks, trailers. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to get a hold of right there. I'm sure it's not cheap. Front end loader, bulldozer, as well as a bunch of like little quips and stuff for each one. Pretty sweet. So let's go ahead over here. It says tier one of the gold mining process brochure. I want to know if this actually exists. Go to the bank, rent old Arnold's parcel claim, go to the warehouse and buy some stuff. Okay, so very first thing we need to do is go to the bank. We have a map as well with the tab button. You can see here's our, uh, here's our truck right over here. And it looks like the bank and the warehouse is pretty close to one another. So we should be able to hit these in, in quick order. Let us go ahead and slide on inside over here with the number three button it is. I think we can move around and whatnot. Oh yeah, there we go. Looking good, looking good. All right. Now, I think I remember some of the controls here. It's been a little while. All right. Come on. Start up. Start up, you old beast. I know you want to. There we go. Take off our differential lock on the asphalt. And we're moving along. Excellent. Do a little ramp over here. All right. Welcome to the bank. I can tell it's the bank because it luckily says bank on it. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Now, I don't know if there's like an interior for this or what. Let's step on out. I know you can interact with a lot of the things. Let's go over here. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. So, Old Arnold Parcel. How many different ones are there? Rivertown, Pine Valley, holy crap, $91,000. Actually, that seems pretty, uh... Actually, seems pretty affordable. Now, we can't buy it, so we're gonna have to rent it. There's also loans you can do here. Loan stock. Ooh! Sell gold bars, yes! Alright, so eventually, man, that'd be awesome. I know there's like a blacksmith and some other stuff, and eventually you can melt down your gold. And I believe turn into bars. Let's go ahead and rent Old Glen, or not Old Glen Bank. Yeah, it is Old Glen Bank. Old Arnold is always happy when new wannabe miners are coming to town. He was a miner for almost 40 years. And now he teaches everyone who wants to listen. He rents his claim almost for free. Come and take a look yourself. How much does it cost to rent, I'm curious. Expected amount of gold. Ooh. And then dirtiness. Dirtiness? What does it all mean? Let's rent it. So we are now rented. Now that we have that done, we have to complete the rest of our task, which was to buy some stuff. There was actually a couple things that we had to buy. Let's go back over here to our journal. Warehouse, hog pan with no pump, hog pan sluice box core, okay. Two hog pan mats and a bucket. Okay, got it. Let's get over there and do it. Welcome, one and all, to the warehouse. Actually, it wasn't that far away. I'm pretty happy about this. That looks like a loading area. Crap, that I just ran into. Oh, the handling is superb. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off over here to not waste gas because now we legitimately have gas in our truck and I imagine I'm going to have to deal with gassing it up and making sure that I have materials and such. Wow. They really, uh, they really sort this place out well, don't they? Uh, so now our, is, oh wow, this stuff is all buyable. I was going to say like, is this just here for looks or can you buy that stuff? It looks like you could buy most of that. Oh God. 
outer cogs, inner cogs, two fuel filters. What is that down there? Bulldozer track. Okay. Well, we need the hog stuff. Oh, here's the old panning system that I used before. This is what we had in the demo. So let us find the hog stuff. We've got a bunch more things over here. Like, was this jerry cans? Can I not buy any of that? That's interesting. We got, oh, oh, right over here. Here we go. Hog pan pump, but we want the no pump. So we got <laughs> golden retriever. Yes. Okay. Very good. So we want one of these. Uh, and then what else did it want us to buy? I think it, it was two of something. Two mats. And we need a sluice box core and then a bucket. Okay. So two mats. So let's go over here. We want two of these. And it looks like it fills up storage slots. Put these mats in the hog pan and look as gold gathers on them. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I like it when mats do things for me so I don't have to work as hard. Uh, hog pan, sluice box core. We're going to need one of these. And then we need a... Oh, I think I see him straight ahead. I was going to say, we need a bucket. Now, how about all this stuff? Is all is any of this stuff viable, I wonder? Or is it just kind of laying here right now? All oh, the work light is viable. Okay. And how about over this way? We got batteries that are viable. Wave table jets that are viable. And then, oh god, all this stuff is purchasable. All right. For right now, let's go grab our bucket as we need. There we go. I saw there's a cash register over here. Look at this guy. Steven Batty. Heavy equipment warehouse. Cash only. What a dude. All right, let's go ahead and use this. That is all of our items, 170 bucks. We are gonna run out of money real quick, so we better make damn sure that we make something in return. Uh, and then I imagine, now I saw there was a, a pickup area outside. So I'll bet that our stuff is, yep, sitting in the pickup area. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and load this stuff into the truck. All right, last item, look at this beast. How am I supposed to put this in here? Do I have a roof rack? Not really. I have some sides, and that's basically it. So I kind of want to put this in this way. Uh, is this gonna fit? I think we need a bigger trick. I, I think we need a bigger pickup truck. Oh no, it fits perfectly. Look at that, right over there. Perfect. Can I close this? Yeah, close is great. Uh, yeah, well, it closes most of the way, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. All right. So we have the next portion of our journey done. Let's go back over here to the journal. Load on the pickup truck. Okay, we did that. Go to the claim, set up the hog pan. Okay, so we need to go to the claim. Let's head over to the mapping area. And I guess these are the parcels that you can buy, the ones that are outlined. How big is this place? That's pretty decent size. So this is the one over here, Old Arnold. If we look at the roadway, what is this? Old Railway Road. Take it on down to the factory. Oh, and there's some back roads in here. It looks like there's a tent and a camper, and probably this is the spot where we're going to, uh, where we're going to be mining from and stuff like that. Okay, sweet. So all we have to do is just take old railway road downward, and we should get there shortly. All right, we are way off the beaten path right now. Oh my god, I'm so glad this thing is 4x4. Four four. Look at the suspension buckle. So this is what gold mining is like, huh? We are way out in the middle of nowhere. And, okay, so there's the factory. So we should just need to drive straight on through this. I probably also shouldn't be driving at like 60 miles an hour in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I think I remember this place. This is where we had our demo, I'm pretty sure. I think. Oh, disable? I'm only driving on a little bit of asphalt. Don't worry, that's going to be gone in just a second. There we go. I definitely remember this place. I remember this horrible off-road experience. Oh, my spinal column. Oh, yeah, I hope we have good seats in this truck. Probably not truck looks beat. There it is. Old Arnold's parcel, boys. Here we are. But for the first time, we're coming from the entirety of the outside of town. Ah! Okay, and there's the fire for the campsite. Okay. So, I imagine we're going to be gathering gold just like we did last time. Let's head over here. Go ahead and park it up. Now, that tent is looking supreme. That tent is looking much better than what we had before. If you remember, I don't even think we had, we had like a little, a little gazebo, like a portable gazebo, and that was it. Over here by the fire hatchet sitting around, and a camper. What does the camper do? Do we like sleep over here or something? Because it was marked on the map. Oh. Yep. That's exactly what it's for. Okay. So you can sleep for the dawn and stuff like that. Now, which way is the sun going? It's 11. Okay. So it's not even high noon yet over there in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can see the time. 11.13. Although it's Alaska, so I don't know 
how the day progresses because I know don't don't doesn't in Alaska They have like super long nights and super long days at different times of the year Let's go back over to our journal and check things out set up the hog pan. Okay, so from a to B to C well, what the hell's A, B, and C? Thanks for the help. Use the shovel to fill the hog pan with dirt. Rinse the mat in the bucket. Start panning, okay? Okay, so I finally figured out where the hog pan goes. Oh man, this journal is super useful. There's a thing over here called dig tube. I'm guessing that's a dig at YouTube. You go over here to mining. You can click on tier one, which is where we're at right now. You can click on digging and panning. You can click on all this and it will show you exactly what you need to do. It's basically like a, uh, like an audio list tutorial and you kind of watch it go through the different, different things over here. So over here, if we go to hog pan setup, it actually shows you where to put the hog pan, what to do with the, uh, the sluice box. There's a mat goes over there. Okay. So there should be a second mat. Yep. There we go. Uh-huh. And then there goes the box, right? Okay. So let's get that together like it showed us. So we got our first one over there. I think I threw my box like somewhere in the water or something. Oh, actually, it's right over here. There we go. All right, so pick this up. Uh, put No, not like that. There we go. Put it right on over there. And we should have both of our mats still sitting inside of our truck. As a matter of fact, we could probably back the truck up into the appropriate spot down there so it's not way up here. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Yeah, right like this. There we have it. Why walk all the way when we can use the truck, boys? Why walk all that way when we can just use the truck? Hopefully, I just didn't get it stuck. Remember the first time I played this game? Old Gray ended up getting the truck flipped over a couple dozen times, and then some of the items went off into the stratosphere. That's a typical day with Gray. Whenever it comes to gaming, that's pretty typical. Let's see if I can grab these mats over here. There we go. Yeah, this is perfect fly right over here first mat oh, first mat goes down okay so you gotta have you gotta make sure that the image is highlighted for things to work as they do and then oh it looked like you could put the mat inside of the uh, the bucket over there it's actually pretty cool if you can do that if you can put materials inside of the bucket and then like carry it with the bucket that'd be fantastic come on jump up in there jump up inside the tailgate I know you can there we have it. We're a very spry individual. We actually have a person now if we go and look at him right now though. I'm gonna drop this down here. All right, I just watched the, the dig tube, so I should be a pro now. So what we gotta do is dig up here. Let's see, there we go. Dig up here, drop it inside of the bucket, okay? Then grab the bucket, dump the bucket into here. All right, that gets some of the, so 4%, huh? All right, I think I got it now. So here is where you do it. And don't put it into the bucket, put it right in here. There we go. That's how it fills up nice and smooth. Yes, 28%. Okay, get this thing to 100. Come on now. Get, get right in line right there. Okay, good. Yeah, let's fill this thing all the way up. Okay, now we grab the bucket, go over to the water, fill the bucket up. Oh, the water is glistening with gold. Gold that we'll be getting soon. Okay, now we bring the bucket over here, and then the water goes in, and there we go. Okay, slick. Yes, look at it all fly out. Getting a couple of percents in our mat over there. I wonder how much gold we're legitimately getting. I'm very curious about this. All right, go ahead and throw some more in there. You can see it go down. 2% in the mats. Good, good. Actually, we're flushing out all of the junk very quickly. Look at all the dirt. Look at all the dirt go back into the water. I, so that's why it calls it pay dirt, eh? All right. Very good. 3% and 2, 1, and 0. Okay. So now we finished over there. We've got 4% on either mat. All right. So we now I think that we have a sad little amount of gold potentially in the mats. So what we have to do is see just how far we can fill these mats up before we try and extract the gold back into the bucket, pan it, suck it up, and then be able to sell it. All right, we got a couple more percentages. Let's go inside of the tent over here. Oh, the tent is sweet. The tent is like a full tent now. Look at this. We've got like a tablet or something. What does this do? Oh. Oh, we can get to the bank from here. Oh, you can have workers? Oh, I'd love to be able to hire my own crew. Oh, that would be fantastic. All right, let's shut that down for right now. So we have our, our panning pan 
And there's the bucket. All right, let's go ahead and bring this outside because if you remember, we used to do this outside. I mean, I guess we could do it inside. But I feel like just having it over here by the rest of our materials would suit us a little bit better. Plus, we need to be able to fill that, that bucket up with water. So let's go ahead and grab that and bring it out there for right now. I don't think anyone's going to steal it. I'm glad I didn't have to buy another one of these, too. Maybe you have to buy, because they're in the store. Maybe you have to buy them for your workers and stuff like that, so that they can... Getting over this fence is a real pain in my ass. Maybe you have to buy them for your workers, so that they can use it. All right, let's go ahead and throw that down there. Now, let's see. Grab this. I have to see if I can remember how to do this. Fill it up with water. Okay. Bring this over here. All right. And now... Grab, let's see over here. Grab this, nope, nope, oh, mother of God. Where'd my bucket go? Come here, bucket. Nope, don't go down to the hole. Don't go down to the hole of sadness. All right, now with the bucket, fill it up. Wow, it's already 4.30 p.m. Fill up the bucket, throw it down here. Filled up with water, very good, very good. Detach the mat. Now I think you put it in the bucket. All right, never mind. You put, no. <laughs> come on now. There we go, yes. Yes, you put it in the bucket, it squeezes it out, and now it should be at... Yes, okay, so now there's no percentages left in that one. We should be able to do the exact same thing with this one. There we go. Okay, so now there should be potential gold water in there. All right, so now we use this on here, like so, okay. Slip that back down there, pick this up. All right, now it's been a while since I did this, boy, so I'm gonna try and do this. All right, now. Oh, 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 no, don't wanna do that, don't wanna do that, okay. So now how do you, how do you lower this thing? Gold panning, show controls. All right, there's no button to show the controls. You guys are seeing that in the bottom left-hand side, right? I'm not going blind, am I? I'm not seeing, oh God, what in the hell was that? Oh, I don't wanna do that yet. Oh, there we go, there's my controls. Yes, there we go. Okay, move up, move down. Okay, so we wanna move it down. And get some water on it. There we go. A little bit of water. Maybe a little bit more water. Okay. Now we don't want to lose any of the any of the gold chunklets here. So let's go ahead and start rinsing these things off. There we go. Should get all the particulates out of there. Oh. Oh, we're starting to free up some gold, boys. Look at it right there. See it over on the side right there? Get rid of a little bit more of this water here. We just don't want to lose any of the gold, though. Okay. So now we've got a couple pieces of gold. I may have to get rid of some of the crap that's surrounding the gold, though. Oh, this is so, so stressful. I don't want to lose the gold. All right, there we go. Come here, come here, gold. There they are, there they are. Okay, okay, okay. Now, gold picking mode for shift, right? And we've got one gold piece right there. Look at that. And then another sad little piece right there. That wasn't even a, that wasn't even like a, a a freaking hundredth of an ounce, but whatever, we're getting somewhere. All right, boys, we're working straight into the night here. I want to see if we can get some more gold. We got barely anything. I want more gold. More gold big time. That was not a lot of dirt. Yeah, that was like 1% of dirt. We're actually, like, almost running out of dirt to use over here. Actually, speaking of which, I think we still have more stuff in here. Wow. You know what? We may have gotten, uh, we may have gotten a decent amount of stuff. Hold on. Look at this. There's more stuff. Let's go back over here and see if we can get some more gold in our very first haul. I think I see something lingering around over there. Let's go ahead and bring this back over here. Yeah, I definitely see something. All right, get a little bit of water. There we go. Go ahead and start moving everything around. Oh, that's the color you want to see right there, boys. That's the color of money. That's the color of sweet, delicious gold. But where is the gold at? Let's go ahead and flush some of this out. Like so. I see him. Two more gold pieces in there. Two more gold little chunklets. Hold on, let's just go ahead and kind of swip this around. I think it said when you don't see the water changing color anymore, that's when you know you've got all the gold you can get. All right, I can see one little piece right over there. There we go. We're still at, we're still at .05, but whatever. Hold on, I may have to move this slightly. Just, there it is, there it is. Right, right there. Right there. Okay, we should be able to get it. Nice. There we go. .06. This is what it's all about, man. We're, we're gonna turn small numbers, okay, into much bigger numbers. It's just gonna take some time, all right? We got a couple more pieces of gold over here. I say pieces. Really, they're just, like, the tiniest little bits of gold essence. We didn't even get, we actually didn't even get 
like enough gold to even be considered gold in that one. But like I said, man, we gotta we gotta work our way up, okay? This is you know you start you start from nothing and then you work your way up from there. We start from our fifty-four dollars. I'm definitely gonna want to get an upgrade to this. The upgrade to this I think would be fantastic. All right, so we've got nothing else over there. Let's go ahead and take care of that. I think we still have more stuff that we could pour in here. Yeah, I gotta tell you. From one little one little go, okay. Now it's finally empty. We're we're coming upon eight o'clock at night right now. Let's see if we can let's see what we can do though. It's gonna start getting kind of hard to see. I dipped in a little bit too deep there as well, but I think we're gonna be all right. Oh, I'd love to have my first like gold nugget, like an actual full piece of gold. Okay, now let's very slowly get rid of all this over here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you can see a couple. Oh, those. Now, do those look like slightly bigger pieces of gold, perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's check them out over here. Okay. 07. Very good. Very, okay. 08. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now, is there anything left in here? After this, we're going to have to go to sleep until dawn. Because I can't see nothing. Well, the water is turning gold. The water is turning gold. So, it makes me feel like there may be something else hiding from us. All right. It's as late as can be. Let's go head over here to the uh, safety and the sanctity of our camper. Get a little shut eye. We'll come back in the morning and see if we can get some more money. Oh, we're becoming pro at this now. Moving along quick here. Getting into our first hour of the day. 7 a.m. Moving that water. Quick and in a hurry over here. I want to get... I'd like to get these mats up to like 50%. That would be pretty cool. If we could get them up to like 50% or something like that. And then see how much gold we can grab out of it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go that far with this little dinky setup. But I'd at least like to give it a shot. Digging my way down deep here, boys. Digging my way down deep. All right, 90 and 100. There we go. Go ahead and get rid of my... Get rid of my... Uh, my bleh. That's not what I want to do. Get rid of my shovel. There we go. Like that over there. It, the sh getting rid of the shovel is kind of a weird key. It's like the indentation keys at the bottom of the keyboard. I think I would remap that to something else. To something a little bit easier. I'm sure you probably can. I just haven't done it. And then it looks like three fills with this bucket gets the entirety of the uh, of the dirt clean on through. What are we looking at percentage-wise on our mats, I wonder? 13%? So we should be right around 14% when this gets done, I would say. Yeah, 14. All right. All right, last little bit over here. Pouring this over here should get us to like maybe 19 or 18 percent and I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and give it a shot then So right over here 17 and the water has completely run through okay so 17 percent let's go ahead and grab our bucket fill it up with water here we go it looks like when the wa when the bucket is filled up with water it doesn't tip over as easy too when the bucket's empty man I was having it tip all over the place all right let's go ahead and ring our uh, oh, oh there we go ring our mats out like so oh I'm hoping for big gold here I'm hoping for big gold. I want to hit a jackpot or something like that with a nice nugget instead of these little tiny pieces because if we can upgrade this setup, it's going to be friggin' majestic. Okay, pick this up. Try number one. I'm telling you, man, it's like the lottery. All right, bring that over there. Over toward our panning area. All right, well, I don't want to turn it quite so far. There we go. Okay, now all we need is the tiniest little bit of water like that. That's really all you need right there. And immediately, you could see the sparkling, glistening visage of sweet, delicious gold. I think it was pretty tiny gold, though. But any gold's better than no gold. Yeah, see those two pieces? Right in there. Looks like we have three pieces of gold in here. Hold on. So far. Let's go ahead and grab this one over here. There we go. I saw a second one right there. All right. Now, I, there, there's a third one right over here. I can't... Oh, 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 oh. Right there. So if you, oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and move this around a little bit. Come on, come here. Come here, you little sucker. Come here. I want you. I want you, you beautiful piece of gold. I know you're there. There we go. It's just kind of, it's hiding, okay? It's hiding with the rest of the, with the rest of the non-golden pieces that I have no interest in. There it is. Got it. Okay. Wow, we're at about a tenth of an ounce so far. All right, no jackpot yet. Let's try it a second time over here. Try it a second time. I have a good feeling about this one. Got a good feeling about it. I can already see some tiny little pieces in there. All right. See those, see those two right over there? Ah, they're getting revealed. 
They're getting revealed to my eyes. And a third one again. Wow, we're actually doing uh we're actually doing pretty good. Getting like two and three at a time. Let's go ahead and get rid of this water. There we go. Now remember, we're on the smallest setup right now, so we're not expecting anything too glamorous yet. There we go. There's our second one over there. And if we tilt things around a little bit, we should be able to pick this last little bit up. I, I can see it. It's right there. You can't lie to me. It's right here. If I could just get... Ah, the, the freaking sun shade just came all over the place on me. There it is. Got it. Got it. Okay. Now, I think that that's pretty much it. I think I think you're gonna you're gonna release now See how the water is super gold though. It's kind of interesting because normally when the water is gold like this It means that we can reveal More gold, but I don't always it doesn't always seem that way because I, I it seems to stay gold for like a time or two Or maybe it gets lighter and lighter gold every time or maybe it's just not enough to even be worth our time to pick up All right, that definitely looks like it. You can always double check like, you can get in here and try and, like, wander around and see if you can get anything. If you get a bigger chunk, you get to use the tweezers. But for right now, the only thing that we were using was our little sucker-up guy. Which isn't exactly... I want to I get big, man. I want to get a big a big piece of gold over here. See if we can get one more time. This, is, this should be the last time. And then I think we're going to take a break for right now. But let's go give it a shot. Like I said... We've, uh, we've almost tripled what we had. Oh, yeah, I can see some stuff already. And in, w I think one of them's looking at, like a pretty good size. I don't know. We'll check it out over here. Go ahead and start getting rid of all this. Yep, once again, we've got three pieces of gold lingering around in there. I can see them right now. Right there. I wonder if you can grab them while the water is still around. I think you probably can. Let's check it out. Yep, sure can. Right there. 16. 18. And can we get 20? No, nothing, not so much there. All right, and that looks like it's right about it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else here, or at least nothing that I've seen. So we've done a little bit of panning so far, boys. We've got a little bit of gold, too. Not sure how much we can sell it for yet, though. Hopefully enough to get some of the upgrades. If we go back over here into this area, into Dig Tube, we can see that there's, like, this pump and stuff, too. Oh, having a pump would be friggin' fantastic. Look, he throws the other one away. He's like, I don't need that one anymore. Let's grab the one with the pump, man. Now, what does the pump do? I'm very curious. If we watch over here, he's got the extension on it as well. Ah! This totally gets rid of us having to constantly go in and get more and more water with our bucket. Oh, it's gonna... See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is going to make things so much easier on us because then all you would have to do is just dig. All you have to do is dig. This will sort everything for you. You can see it's got water coming into it right now. That would be fantastic. What's this tier three thing? Loading, connecting, setup. I'm just curious, like, what the big, what the big rigs look like over here. This is the big wash plant. Oh, man. Yeah, see... It, <laughs> Look at what you can work your way up to. That looks so cool. Like, if we could get that giant wash plant. Look at all the stuff you have to connect, though. Look at all this. You gotta connect all this up. You got your pump over there. Bringing water in. But it's gonna do a lot of the work for you. And then eventually, if we can start uh, renting some of the big rigs and stuff like that to help us move a lot of dirt around, that's even better. Because I know once you get that stuff set up, man, you can move a lot of dirt super fast. And the gold starts rolling in. Anyway, guys, what did you think of Gold Rush the game? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.